Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video. And today we will have a look at my uh, my forex funds evaluation challenge one more time. I didn't make any updates in the previous um, four or five days, I think, because I um, was not in the office. But the good thing about automated trading is that you do not have to be in the office to trade. And uh, the bad thing about automated trading is that it is not money printing. And this is what I will show you in this um, video because I just ex suffered a really big loss in the prop trading account today. But let's have a look at what happened here on my VPS server. So I will not give, give you like the live um, uh, documentation of these trades because I was not able to record them since I was not in the office. But um, I can still show you the, the trades. I think um, we will start with Euro US dollar. This is the one hour chart of the Euro US dollar. And I made an update for the 28th of um, October. And um, here we just generated a really nice profit in Euro US dollar and also in USD Japanese yen. Then we had the, uh, the weekend and then we had um, Monday and Tuesday, I think. So the 20. Uh, 31st should be Monday. Here we had a really nice profit in Euro USD. Um, you can see it here we dropped below this relative low and there was uh, a lot of momentum. So we generated a big profit, I think. And um, then we had uh, one day later another big profit because we dropped below this low and this was a, a win of yeah, over 100 points and we will see that this is a significant win that we were able to realize in this account. Um, also, we saw that the entry here was really nice and clean and this is not always guaranteed because for these breakout um, strategies, you can have a lot of slippage and this is what we will see uh, when I show you the losing trade, which um, yeah burned a lot of money in this account. So um, in this for, for Euro or Solar, we were really lucky. Everything worked out really fine and we were able to generate some profits. So let's jump over to the USD Japanese yen chart. And here, not everything is looking as fine as it is in Euro or Solar. Still, the, the, this is no catastrophe. This is just like what happens in trading. But let's have a look at the, at the trades. So 28th of October, this was something I discussed in my last video about this. And then we have the uh, 31st of October, there was a small profit in USD Japanese yen. Then um, uh, on the 1st of November, there was no trade, I think. There's a difference uh, if we compare it to the Euro USD uh, chart. But um, we will see that today there was another trade, and this is something I want to talk about uh, in more detail. Um, so what we can see here is um, this was a short trend in USD Japanese yen. And if we have a look at the, wait, I want it like this. If we had to look, have a look at this um, chart here, this was the breakout level. So the price dropped below this level here. And what we can see is that we received a crazy amount of slippage because the execution was down here. And this is like, uh, around 50 points, I would say. So this is a lot of slippage. And this is like the main problem whenever you trade with scalping strategies and breakout strategies like this, because you do not see this in the strategy tester. So the strategy tester will give you a better result here. I'm pretty sure about this um, because it, it doesn't really give like the actual live trading slippage. And this is a big problem because if we would have received the perfect execution here or if it was it would be filled at the low of this relative low here, uh, at this point here, low, you can see like the price dropped a little bit more. At this point, we would have already been in profit and the trailing stop would have already been triggered. But in this case, since the execution was so bad, um, it was not triggered. So the price was able to move back and hit the not the stop loss, but my safety mechanism that I programmed into this program. And we will have a look at this in a second. Um, so is this, uh, like, uh, one, one more word about the slippage thing. You cannot really prevent this. This is not unusual. This is 
these are real market conditions. I mean, prices can jump, but still it is a problem because there might be a, um, a difference to the to the testing results. And uh, I will do a video where I compare the, compare the live trading results to the testing results uh, in some days, I think. But yeah, this is how um, it can turn out badly. So it gives you a big loss. So let's have a look at, oh, wait, let me rearrange this. Let's have a look at the outcome of these trades and you will see like <laughs> the funny thing is uh, before um, I went uh, on vacation I did uh, the update and I think uh, after the trades uh, four days ago the uh, balance was 5135 I think and now it is like 50 cent below this so like if you have a look at the the balance only not a lot happened because you can see here like the last trades these were the trades, uh, the four trades that are just explained. So we made a first profit in USD Japanese yen, roughly uh, 25 uh, euro here. Then we had a little bigger problem, uh, a profit in Euro USD, um, 40 euro. And then we had a really, really, really big profit. And this is a really good trade here because um, we were able to generate 100 euro with this single trade here. And this is for the small account that we trade here. This is around uh, nearly 2%, I think. So this was a really big profit. But then, of course, we had this crazy losing trade here, which generated a loss of 100, um, uh, 160 euro. And this is why all the profits that were made before are now gone. So, yeah, pretty much... Uh, not a lot changed here. So one thing I did before was comparing these trades to my live trades that I did in a real live trading account. The MyForex Funds account is a demo account only. And this is really interesting this time because we made the same trades, but we had a really different outcome. So <laughs> this is really inter interesting. So let's jump to my um, live trading account here. And um, you can see here we also made four trades so you can see here 20 uh, 31st and uh, the first and second of november we still made four trades and the results were really similar we had like two moderate big trades and then we had a really 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 big win this was the one in euro usd also uh, executed really nicely in the live trading account generated a crazy profit here of 2.5 percent if i'm not wrong um, but let, let's have a look at the last trade. This is the trade that generated the crazy loss in the My Forex Funds account. And here you can see we made a profit in the live trading account. And um, yes, this is just because I think the execution was a little better in the live trading account. So we were able to modify the stop loss and we were able to hit the trailing stop before the price went on um, uh yeah, and, and hit the uh, stop loss in the demo account of the My Forex Funds account. So this is um, why the broker makes a really big difference. And I, I also already received messages uh, of people saying that they have different trading results than I do or that they have different trading results in a live or a demo account. And this is just because the prices are not the same. You do not have the same... Um, price movement or the same uh, quality of execution on, on or the same ticks in two different accounts. This depends on a lot of different things. On the broker, on on the, the circumstances, if it is a live or a demo or whatever, how fast is the server of your broker. And also if you use the completely same broker and you are just on a different server or something like this, you can still have different trades. So this is why you cannot really can compare one trade to another. You will always have to compare um, longer periods. And yeah, so I, I would not say that uh, this was unfair of the my Forex funds uh, prop trading firm to give me this execution because they executed my trade, but like the prices were just different. So there's nothing you can do about this here. But yeah, this is the comparison. So let's have a look at the... Um, uh, <clears throat> membership area here now so you can see uh, if we go to the daily <clears throat> analysis here you can see today there was a big loss three percent loss on this single day in total we are now 2.7 percent in profit and we have we, we, we 
again have like um, uh, $270 to go. Before we had this big losing trade, um, we only needed 100 more dollar to hit this profit target. But now it is like it is here. And this is why, um, um, yeah, you always, you, you cannot uh, have a look at single trades and you have to, you always have to look at a longer period of time. And um, one last thing is I want to show you in uh, my uh, on my server. So yeah, here on my server for the MyForexFunds account, you can see in the experts journal, journal um, the the trade um, hit the um, wait, where is it? Um, pim, pim, pim. You can see here it says drawdown deleted order with ticket number blah blah blah. And this is because the program realized that we are in the 4% drawdown. And um, this is really important that I have this security mechanism and that I'm able to trade, uh, to close my trades like this and to prevent more trading for today. Because <clears throat> if we just have this trade here and if we receive the slippage, um, the problem is that the distance from the entry to the stop loss also increases. So if I would have waited until this trade hit the stop loss, this would be probably more than 5% of the account. And this is why I added this safety mechanism here that helps me to close the trades even if um, the initial stop loss of my trade is not reached yet. So this is why I would recommend to have some kind of safety mechanisms in, in the programs that you write for your prop trading evaluations um, yeah, and you can also see like I have this uh, global variable here now which says that I am currently in a drawdown and uh, that there will be no more trading today. So um, yeah, this uh, variable will be deleted um, at midnight. So when there's a new day and then we will see some more orders in the MyForexFunds account here and I will give you more updates if something um, important happens so i hope you liked this little, little overview so we had a really big setback here today in the in the challenge account but still game is not over everything's good and uh, we can go on trading and i will keep you updated so hope you liked it uh, have a great time and good trades bye bye